Hello again, my friends. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ. May your time listening to this bite-sized podcast be a blessed one. I would like to thank you personally for listening in and bid you a warm welcome. What better time is there than the days after Easter to start something new? It was only last week that we started our Gospel Daily Prayer series. So if you missed the first week, you can easily go back and find our podcast archives and catch up to us. It's especially easy if you subscribe. This week our studies will be based upon John chapter 20. If you're unfamiliar or just not a numbers guy like me, this chapter begins right after the resurrection of Jesus with Mary finding the empty tomb. It talks about the most famous foot race in history between Peter and John. John won, by the way. To Jesus' place of burial, only to find it empty. Then the chapter describes Jesus showing himself to Mary Magdalene and his apostles. It's a lot of ground to cover. But never fear, there's no test at the end, and each of the devotionals this week starts with the focus verse in the chapter. It's finally starting to warm up in northern Minnesota, even if you're still wearing a sweater, and there are lots of exciting things happening at church that you can be a part of. We have a Google Calendar that we keep updated with a variety of events, and there's a link in the show notes so you can check it out. We'd love to see you in person. If you have a suggestion on how to improve the podcast or constructive feedback of any sort, feel free to drop me a line at john.kirk at stmarksbemidji.org. If you like this podcast, we'll take a moment on iTunes or Google to rate and review it. It goes a long way to help spread the word. I've definitely gone on long enough today, so without further delay, let's take a listen to what's in store. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia! Amen. John chapter 20 reads, Therefore, many other signs Jesus also performed in the presence of the disciples, which are not written in this book. But these have been written, so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that, believing, you may have life in his name. This is my text. In the name of Christ Jesus, Amen. Many had claimed to be the Savior. And they said, and they led, and they died, and they were buried, just like Jesus of Nazareth was. But the written scriptures said something different of Jesus. The sign of Jonah, for example, scripture recorded, and Jesus spoke directly of it concerning his resurrection. Jonah was in the belly of the fish for three days and three nights, so also Christ lies in the belly of the tomb for three days and three nights, also in the mouth of death as was Jonah. Remember, on Good Friday, even before the sun had set, he died and was buried, and he rested on the Sabbath in the grave the entire Sabbath? But, just as Jonah did not remain in the belly of the fish, so also Christ did not remain in the grave. As it was written in Scripture, the sign found fulfillment in Jesus. And there were many other signs that Jesus himself did that weren't even written down during Jesus' ministry. But these things were written concerning this joyous, victorious resurrection of Christ as it actually occurred and became revealed. The entire Bible, all of it, proclaims to us and teaches about Jesus. You can read it yourself. And it has the power to work faith in the hearts of those who do. As Jesus arose out of death, so we too believe he is the Son of God. We believe the word of God that Jesus' sinless person in life was lived before the Father for us in our place. That he did wash away our sins by his blood shed on the cross. That his death was died for us and we are saved in him connected in him through our baptism, and by that same baptism we are raised with Christ to newness of life as what is written in Romans chapter 6 proclaims. And death will not hold us either. On the last day the Spirit will raise up you and me and all the dead and all of our loved ones and give unto you and me and all believers in Christ eternal life. It is what the holy apostles and prophets have written and said right from the mouth of the Spirit of God himself. 
Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, with us abide, for round us falls the eventide. Nor let thy word, that heavenly life for us, be ever veiled in night. In these last days of sore distress, grant us, dear Lord, true steadfastness, that pure we keep till life is spent, thy holy word and sacrament. Amen. The peace of our Lord be with you always. Amen. That's all there is for today, but we are so happy you took a few moments out of your busy day to listen to God's Word with us. Please consider subscribing to our podcast to hear more devotions like this, Monday through Friday, and to hear our Sunday sermons as well. We also cordially invite you to join us for church every week at 8 a.m. and 10.30 a.m. on Sunday mornings. If you would like more information about our church and its ministry, please visit our website at www.stmarksbemidji.org.